Okay, so we are going to go over how to find the greatest common factor and the least common multiple of a set of numbers. So we're going to start with 12, 18, and 24, and we're going to start with GCF. And we're going to practice it the way that we learned it in class with our generic rectangle. So I'm going to go ahead and make my rectangle, and I'm going to put 12, 18, and 24 on the inside. And I'm trying to figure out um, what number goes into all three of these evenly. I'm just getting ahead of myself. Let's just really quickly review what greatest common factor is. Our greatest common factor basically is the biggest number that goes into each of these numbers evenly. Um, factors, remember, are numbers that multiply together. So factors of 6 would be 1 and 6, because 1 times 6 is 6, and 2 times 3 is 6. So 1, 2, 3, and 6 are all factors of 6. So those are factors. Um, and least common multiple, remember multiples are like skip counting. So 5, 10, 15, 20, those are all multiples of 5, because we can count by 5s. So, greatest common factor. Back to that. What number goes into all three of these evenly? Well, I'm looking here and I see that 2 goes into all three of these evenly, so I'm going to put my 2 on the top. 2 times 6 is 12, 2 times 9 is 18, and 2 times 12 is 24. And I'm looking and I have 6, 9, and 12 left over, and I know that there is another number that goes into all three of those. So I'm just going to add on to my box here. Um, 3 goes into all three of these. 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, and 3 times 4 is 12. And so now I can take those two factors that I have up on the top and multiply them together. And 3 times 2 is 6, so my greatest common factor is 6. Another way that you could do this is by just listing out factors of uh, 12, 18, and 24. Uh, so factors of 12 would be 1 times 12. I'm listing out factor pairs. 2 times 6 and 3 times 4. These are all factors of 12. And that is it. Um, 18, we have 1 times 18, 2 times 9, and 3 times 6. And 24, we have 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, and 4 times 6. And now I can go through and look at my list and see what appears on all three of my lists. So 1 is on all three lists, 2 is in all three, 3 is in all three, 4 is not in 18's list, so I can't highlight that one, 6 is in all three, and 12 isn't in 18, so I can't highlight that one. So the biggest one that I highlighted, that's in all three of my lists, is still 6. So there's two different options. You can kind of choose the one that you like best. All right, and then least common multiple. Remember, we're listing out those multiples. We have 12, 18, and 36. I'm just going to start kind of listing those ones that I know. Uh, 12 times 2 is 24, 12 times 3 is 36, times 4 is 48, times 5 is 60. And I'm just going to stop there just to kind of see where my other numbers take me. Um, 18 times 2 is 36, and oh, I have 36, 36, and 36 already. It's appearing in all three of my lists. So one thing to keep in mind is my least common multiple, um, it can't be bigger than my biggest number. Let me re-say that because I'm not sure if I said that right. It can't be smaller than the biggest number. So my biggest number out of 12, 18, and 36 is 36. 
the least common multiple can't be smaller than 36. And it's exactly 36, so that works. All right, one more example. Um, my numbers are 27, 9, and 6, so we need to find the greatest common factor of those. So I'm going to use my generic rectangle method here. 27, 9, and 6. And 3 goes into all three of these. 3 times 9 is 27. 3 times 3 is 9. And 3 times 2 is 6. And nothing goes into all three of those evenly except for one. So my greatest common factor is 3. And least common multiples, I have 27, I have 9, and I have 6. So I'm just going to list out a few for 27. Um, 27 and 27 is 54. 54 plus 27. Just making sure I'm doing my math correctly. Get 81. Okay, and I'm just going to see what I've got here. Okay, so I have 9, 18, 27, um, 34, 36, 45, and 54. And then I'll try 6, because I have a couple in those first two rows that are the same. So we'll see if we can get one for 6. We have 6. 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, thirty-two, thirty-eight, fifty-four. So I have one in each row. I have fifty-four here, fifty-four here, and fifty-four here. So my least common multiple is 54.